All right. Well, yeah, still in August, but having a ball. In fact, I'm going to take off to Siena. Oh, this is one of the precious little towns. And you know, I go and see it a couple of times, too, because I enjoy it every time I go. Ah, but this first time, sure enough, what do you think happens? I got the wrong ticket to come home. So I ended up spending the entire night in Siena. But it was gorgeous. There was a full moon. I mean, it was all mine. The town was completely silent. It was mine. Check it out. You're gonna love it. Hey, you guys are, who does, it, just, it just doesn't matter, man. I mean, me. I am right now, I'm in Siena. It's, I don't know, it's probably about 7 p.m. I took the train out here, and oh my God, it's just so cool here, man. I mean, I've done it in the winter. It's a different picture in the summer, man. There's people here, and they're still hanging out. Buildings look so much better. I can see them better because, man, it's warm. It's not cold, man. <laughs> this is so cool. And I've been walking inside there by the shops and everything, man. Oh, wow. Yeah, perfect time. I came here. It's like around, I, I, I popped on the train at just about 5.30 and I was able to get here in like just an hour and a half. And, I know, this clock right here in front of me, man, she's saying 7.10, so cool. And I got another one coming out of here at 10.30. Oh, now, I think Jesse might be calling me, my boss, and because I just called her. And man, all right, well, let me finish filming this. But I am so, so happy I hopped on this train today, man. This is so cool. Look, I got everybody looking, and uh, man, what a trip. Siena, Motabella. I kind of got this thing on. I hope it's filming pretty good because man, it's for my little diary here. But man, it's there right in Siena and overlooking everything. And man, it's just, just a cool thing to check out. Just miss it. It's saying uh, it's like quarter to eight right now, and I'm, I'm gonna be here till about uh, well, I'll probably hit back to the um, train station around 10. I got a train out of here like 10 40, but I got a feeling we'll be back because man, oh man, having a good time here just hanging out. I mean, I'm at a uh, kind of lived through the last couple of days where quiet, quiet, quiet. It now opens up to look at the little kid on the bike going right by me. Man, man, what a trip. I get a kick out of that, man. Shit, if I was a little kid, man, I'd have my skateboard and my bike down here practically every day if I lived in there. But this is really, oh, I'm just enjoying myself very much, man. Um, I mean, I didn't come out here until about, I got on the train from Florence at about 5 o'clock and arrived here about 6.30. And I actually shopped in the, in the train station. They got a mall in the train station. And the prices are actually better than here in, uh, than in Florence. So it might be pretty cool to just pop on. Hey, want to get in the picture? Come on. Yeah. Come on. Get in the picture with me. There you are. Wait. Wait. You follow Paul, Italiano, how much? Ah, there you are. Yeah. 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 That's it, that's it. Alright, little guys, there's someone with the camera talking to myself and they said, hey, what the heck, right? <laughs> so, oh man, what a trip. It's fun. You know, I haven't even walked up the steps yet. I, I'm out here, I'm just enjoying it right here. And you know something, I've been here before, of course, but it was cold, it was freezing, and I could never really enjoy it. Now, man, it's warm, and uh, man, it's gonna be cool to see the stars out here. That's why I came later, so I can see the stars. Hey, maybe, you know, it'd be great if the full moon is out here tonight, too, um, right, up, right above this tower, but just incredible view. I don't, I don't even wanna leave. There's more to see, though. Streets. I mean, I remember walking up these streets and it's so steep, so I'll see what I can do for that. Just 
hope I'm talking loud enough that I can hear myself because, man, I'm excited. <laughs> All right, pause for now, I think. Incredible. I'm walking down the streets in Siena. I mean, it's just so steep right up ahead of me. But, you know, man, I got to show you what I'm about to see. It, what, what I'm looking at right now, I mean, you're seeing the back of me, and it's cool because I think there's some people right above me. And, yeah, there is. And, and they're looking at what I'm looking at ahead of me. It's wild. So hold on, let me pause and pull this guy to his mind and step up. You guys, I can't stop talking. Man. When I, when I, as soon as I turn the film off, it's got to come back on. Because it's incredible what I'm seeing, man. It's just the prettiest, prettiest looks. Every turn, I take a few steps, and then there's just something else. I hope it's coming out in the video. Like it's coming out in my eyes. Because, really, look what I just walked down. Man, you can't beat the pictures. God, I'm sorry if I bore some of you, because maybe I'm sending these pictures out, but you guys have told me you, you like seeing it. Man, and that's what I'm doing. Bella, Mota, Bella, Mota, Bella. Buonasera, mio amico. Buonasera. Un grande, un grande tagliere. Oh, molto bene, molto bene, molto bene. Molto bene. Eh, um, io, io, io voglio gelato. Uh, cheese cheesecake. Eh? Formaggio? No, no, no. Oh, uh, uh, con no cioccolata. Non cioccolata. Non Questo, cioccolata. Ma senza sì, cioccolata. sì, grazie. Prego. Solo cheesecake? Sì, solo. 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 Va bene. Ma hai mai posso far assaggiare con un cucchiaino All right. questa qui? Ok, uh, just a try, to ah, try. Hai già provato? No, tutto, 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 Qu questa Qu ricotta Qu oh. olive and walnuts ricotta miele e dolce yeah I taste it tastes like cannoli the, can the, the shell the, the, the cream yeah. uh, the, from, uh, cannoli it's a uh, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's yeah. a ricotta ricotta e um, sugar yeah but then maybe next time maybe yeah. next time okay io gelato no no mia gelato tuo gelato tu no tu è gelato mi mia gelato gelato esatto see sì? yeah, okay all right go back <laughs> you're confusing me you're confusing me i'm trying to I'm trying to learn here okay all right i'm gonna put the phone down all right say ciao
Ciao. Yeah, va bene, grazie. Today's August 11th, it's Friday night. Uh, pretty cool day, I guess. You know, you know, just got up um, and went out for coffee. They have a cappuccino place, and I went in that this morning and um, studied a little bit of Italian, and then um, I headed over to um, oh the marketplace. And in the marketplace, I bought some cool things today. Um, I bought fish, and I, I bought my seafood fish tonight. I had uh, swordfish, and I bought some steak, a slice of steak. Maybe, maybe just, I don't want to say thin, but next time I'll cut it a little thicker. How's that? But a good piece. And um, that was just like $6, and the swordfish was three. And then I bought fresh um, a ravioli, um, 10 good ones. You know, they're pretty big. And, um, you know, I, I did my shopping. It felt good, too. Record. Oh, yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Grazie. Cucin. Cook, cook, cucine, 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 lemone, lemone, mi dispiace, io non parlo bene, dico, mi, mi amico, e... grazie, vai, basta, stop, si, 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 Va bene, va bene. Buon giornata. And I also called my auntie Angie, and it was real nice talking to them because it's kind of like the first time I really talked all day, other than the little Italian I did. But um, you know, it was kind of cool to get get some stories out and stuff, and tell them how things are going. And I know it made them happy, and and, and it made me feel good too, just for the fact that knowing that even though they might have check off that I got all, that they got the pictures, they saw the stuff, and that's cool. It made me feel kind of good on that. And then, um, let's see, what else? Um, then, oh, and by the way, I, I met a, a girl from uh, Sicily, and I, I talked to her for about, oh, jeez, yeah, about 45 minutes, and maybe close to an hour, and took pictures with her and stuff, and, and then... Um, um, got the bit with the Facebook, so kind of communication, and, and it was kind of cute and fun. And um, and what I've just been actually doing is looking at some of her stuff of her family, because hey, you know, I told her how my father's grandfather and stuff was in Sicily, and so that yeah, was just kind of neat talking to her and stuff. And um, well, after I had the dinner and. Now I'm just kind of walking out in the streets, and I'm actually gonna, I'm headed over and uh, to my jet destination to get an ice cream. But what I'm gonna first do is stop at a Italian restaurant, a pizza place, and get a slice of pizza before my before my ice cream. <laughs> yeah, well, I haven't been to the pizza place in a bit, and you know I just want to kind of say hi. The guy's name is Franco, and I met him on the first day when I lived here, so like to just let him know I'm still here and he does you know I saw him the other night he's actually walking a dog in the streets a different street and he recognized me and how that though and came out and shook hands and tried to talk for a few seconds and did and then um, that was that so I'm going over there to try to grab a slice of pizza all right but big crowds out now it's Friday night man they're out so um, okay let me sign off now and try to find it find it um, the, the pizza slice. I'm having a ball, I'm having a ball, I'm dancing.
it's Saturday night, the 12th. It's actually really, you know, Sunday the 13th, but I'm still haven't finished up with Saturday, and it's probably, uh, it's after 12 o'clock, I know that, because I'm out here in the, standing in the Piazza Signoria right now. Just as I talk, I look at this four beautiful girls walking by me. Wow. Jeez, all four. Damn. Well, anyway, it's a little bit after 12. Yeah, I know. If anybody's listening to this other than me, he's saying, what the hell, why didn't you try something? But no cigar. Right now, no cigar. <laughs> um, well, anyway, what was I now talking about? Oh, well, you know, I went to um, uh, the Leaning Tower of Pisa today. And uh, I went late in the afternoon and felt a little bit bummed out that I didn't really do much of anything during the afternoon. I don't know when I talk about do much of anything. I, I, I mean, what the hell, you know, what else? I mean, yeah, there's things I can do. I can get up earlier and get out and just walk around, I guess, you know, whatever. But I got up um, and got out about 11, uh, about 12, and um, I went out and kind of looking for a place to eat and decided not to eat decided to um, book a reservation to go on the train to Pisa today. So what I did is, you know, I was kind of thinking about that stuff last night. I said, no, don't do it Friday, do it Saturday. And I just, you know, got to today thinking, oh shit, should I, shouldn't I? And I was thinking about it and then not thinking about it. And then saying, hey, why don't you go back to Siena and instead of Pisa, you know, look at the money that, you know, what's the difference? Pisa's not that great to begin with and kind of downgrading it a bit. But I said, oh, man, go, go, just go. And I went. And um, it was, you know, it was all right. It was, yeah, it was nice. I don't, I'm like, I don't want to make it sound like it was a, not a good day. No, it, you know, it's just in comparison to um, Rome, Florence and Siena for just a day, uh, Pisa just doesn't stand up. In fact, I mean, the Leaning Tower was really cool. And the picture of the outside, and I've seen it before and had the opportunity to go up, but they, uh, I don't want to make an excuse, but the two top rows were the only, you, you kind of came up, you didn't walk around it like it was, I remember, when I first did it where you walked the entire thing and there was no wall <laughs> so anyway um, I didn't do that but I took a lot of pictures of it and was actually planning to um, you know I, I hooked up with the train going late figuring I'd be able to take the train back in the evening because I wanted to kind of be able to see the um, Leaning Tower of Pisa at night I haven't done that so my plans were to take a bus back not a bus, a train back at 10.30. And that was it. And I made the plans and I did it. And I booked the, the train and everything. And then I get to Pisa today and, you know, kind of finished up watching the Leaning Tower and doing that. And just was kind of prepping on when to make sure I head back to like get to the train. I got to find out about the bus route. And I discovered that the last bus was at 9.30. And, I mean, if I, my, my train was at 9.30, so uh, it was like around 9.30, 9.45 type thing, so it's too much of a chance that the next train, it was like 7, well, what it ends up coming up to, and I'm sure, I'm sure I'll remember this, was um, I didn't stay to Pisa into the evening because I was a little bit nervous about not catching the bus getting back to the train in time, missing the train, and staying in Pisa all night. Not what I was planning on doing. So I didn't take the chance, and I got on the, uh, the train and came back to Florence, and that's where I'm at right now. I went in the house, and then um, I got a little bit hungry. I mean, I had a pretty good lunch. I made the steak. I actually made my steak, and my potatoes, and peppers, and onions, a nice salad. Um, but, uh, you know, I said, go for some pizza and what I did is I went out to um, where um, Franco's restaurant is not when I say restaurant <laughs> Franco's wall <laughs> um, and I get get the slices of pizza I get two big slices of pizza 
And then as soon as I finished that, I walked over to the gelato, my gelato place, and talked to a couple of guys, and you know, um, and um, then um, sat and had my ice cream, finished up the ice cream, and my style is cheesecake. <laughs> After I finished that up, I went over to the water fountain. Uh, the, the thing that, you know, it, I love the machine. I think I even got a video of this, um, the, the machine, that, because it's, it's just kind of neat to watch. This thing goes up and down and delivers the drink. <laughs> I get a kick out of it. It's 50 cents, so I, throw, I always try to keep enough change that I can get that. And then I head over to the Piazza Signoria, where I talk to myself. <laughs> But um, it's real pretty out. I mean, it always is. Shit, I don't think you can make this not a pretty time. I've been in it and it's freezing cold. I've been in it when it's wet. I've been in it rainy, wet. I've been in it when it's been um, snow. And I've been in it with ice. I mean, I think I've now been able to see this place in um, pretty much all season. And um, it's each time I'm in it. It's fantastic so <laughs> no big deal and I just love it at night like this though when it's mine and when I say mine I mean there's people here but I mean and, and you know just there's people here but uh, I'm looking at thousands in the afternoon as compared to right now maybe geez not even a hundred and a big area like this no no big deal but uh, all right I think I'm gonna shut up I probably I don't know, I haven't played back any of these tapes. Um, I haven't really done much playback on any of my movie stuff. I've just been kind of taking it and and um, storing it. And just looking into, hopefully I'm gonna be able to make up a nice little um, movie presentation. Uh, whether it be for myself and good memory and um, um, or, or memory, period. Of, of my event here and um, hoping that you know it's something that other people would like to watch and um, or when they do watch it they enjoy it and it's like hey I want to see more <laughs> uh, as opposed to hey what do you want to do now <laughs> so um, wow and hey you know as I've been speaking out here to myself with the phone up against my mouth so anybody can just thinks maybe I'm just talking to somebody and I am, I'm talking to myself. But um, it makes it a lot easier to do too. Because I'm telling you, I got girls coming by left and right. And she's just as I say that two Japanese girls, of course, two Japanese guys too, they've been dominating the um, tourism here as far as I'm concerned. I mean, it just seems like um, major tours um consistent every day it's just like groups and groups and groups and it's it seems like it is a routine though i mean like they've got a patent because uh, i see them wherever i go in the certain areas kind of um in their spots where the tour guide is kind of talking so they they have their location and i know i had mine too when i was a tour guide for disney i had my location Jeez, and you know i notice i I, I, when I do play this back, maybe even if I hear myself speaking right now on a recording, um, play back, see how many times I say, um, or, you know, you know just kind of pause with, um, because I, I think, believe it or not, I, I'm doing pretty good with that. So, maybe if I get a chance and are bored and the future calls for a check back real quick, <laughs> then I can do that. done this but um, hey right now it's lunchtime and I'm cooking in my apartment here and let's see um, cooking um, kuchima, kuchima. Oh, I just learned the word today keep cooking um, cucciane cucciane I think it's cucciane you cucciane Pasta, um, pasta, a ravioli, a um, pom pomodori sauce, um, 
perfect um, oh cheese salami a uh, uh, onion a uh, pepperoni yeah. and I hey, I figured what the heck um, and to show it off making my pasta here it's my own little diary and I don't know if I even film my kitchen but it's not that big. Oh, and I got a little antipasto I made here also. Yeah, put that in. A little antipasto. I got the, what, salami, ham, cheese. Uh, yeah. It's my kitchen. But um, I think it's about ready. So let me see what I can do. I got my little strainer here. It's fresh ravioli. And, you know, I didn't have, uh, I, I only bought 10 ravioli. And they got bigger now that I think of it. But I was a little nervous, on, not nervous, but just kind of like, hmm, do I have enough? So what I just did is I added pasta, some ziti ahead of that. Oh man, what am I doing? All right, I'm putting it in the bowl first, but then I'm gonna put it in my sauce. Well, I don't even know why I'm looking at my camera like it makes a big deal, but. but I just thought I'd kind of do a little bit of my diary where I'm cooking in my, um, I brought them in. I had a pretty good day today, and I'm sure there'll be some stuff on the tape. Um, when I say day, the day's not over. It's it's only right now about 3:30 here, and yeah, I gotta shut off my gas here. Let's make sure I do this right. It's the second one. There we go. Okay. Now, all right. I'm gonna maybe pause this. All right. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm back on. But I paused it just to take my pasta and put it in with my sauce. So then I can kind of mix up my sauce and uh, my pasta. And you know something? Yeah, I'll try to show it. I'm trying to film it. Here. But, um, you know, I didn't have much for my, my sauce. All I had was a tomato. And to, tomato. And, um, I said, shit, what am I gonna do to make it a little tastier? And well, I had a, some onion, I sliced up an onion, chopped it all up, and then uh, of course some salt and pepper. Um, but then I had the pepperoni and the salami, and I chopped that up, and then added some parsley. And hey, we're gonna see what it tastes like. I mean, I've been eating here in Italy, and I'll tell you something, what I've been seeing is the way the Italians cook. I mean, Jesus, they use everything. So, I mean, the pizzas have got everything on them, different stuff that you won't see in America. So I figured, what the heck, I'll make my sauce a little, sauce a little different today. And that's what I've done. And um, I'll fill you in on what it tastes like. I'm pretty sure it's going to taste great. Mm, actually, it smells pretty good. All right. Ciao for now. Ciao adesso. Ciao adesso. Now.